I have to start this video off by saying a huge thank you to JP for the $10 donation. You rock, sir. You keep on donating $10 every month with your recurring payment, and we cannot thank you enough. Also, I have to say a huge thank you to Jeremy for the $25 donation. You guys keep donating to the channel and keep supporting it, and I cannot thank you enough. You help so much by using the donation link in the description below the videos. Man, I, I don't even know what to say. I cannot thank you enough. What's up guys, Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video that I made, which was the Speed Warlock build, then you are entered into the giveaway of a Typhoon edition of the new expansion. And the winner of that giveaway is, bam, right there. Congratulations, we will be sending it to your character just shortly. This week's giveaway is five wrecks. So we will have five different winners, each getting a Rex each. And if you're somebody that used my referral code in the description below my video, videos to create your rift account then if you're one of the winners you will win five wrecks yourself rules are simple all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video with your character name and server make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button the winner will be announced in the next weekend video good luck everyone What's up guys, today we're going to go into a bar DPS build for PvP that you guys are really going to like because it's going to be very good damage, uh, high mobility to get out of those bad situations, and it's also going to have great utility to buff up the rest of your team to where it will give you the edge in war fronts. So let's get right into this soul build. And if you'd like to see it on a web page instead of having to pause the video or squint at your screen, feel free to go to the description below this video and I will have a link to the soul tree to where you can click on it and go to a web page. I will also have all of the macros below this video as well, so feel free to refer down there. I'm not going to read out every point of this build because we got it really scattered out and it would take a very long time to say where all the points are. So I'm going to allow you just to pause the video or else go to the link in the description below. But I will go ahead and say that we have 46 points in a bard, 26 into Nightblade, and 4 into Riftstalker. And the reason why we went into Nightblade is mainly for this skill right here called Heat Retention. And that's going to allow it to where it's going to buff up your finisher ability, uh, which is going to be your Coda of Wrath, and it's going to make it hit so much harder. And let's see, 45% harder. So that's going to make it insanely good. And uh, basically we're going to build up charges of that, get it to where it's at its max capacity, and then we'll be able to hit our burst button and really destroy people. And you'll see what I'm talking about just shortly. All right, and of course we went into Rift Stalker for the tankiness as well as the extra HP. All right, the masteries we went into was the level 61. We took Planar Replenishment, 62 Ascended Biology, 63 Sprinter's Guile, 64 Through the Ether, and 65 I picked up Planar Variation, for the extra heals, you can of course go into energy manipulation if you'd like to. That way that you have the extra damage if you don't feel like you need the heals. I always like to be able to get healed up. I get focus fired a lot, uh, so I got to be able to survive. The buffs that we have are Fanfare of Power, Fanfare of Vigor, Anthem of Competence, Hellfire Blades, Smothering Blades, Planebound Resilience, and of course any Guild or Planner buffs that you want to run. Alright, let's go into the macros now. And as usual, my macros are constructed in a certain way to make things easier on you. Feel free to pull out abilities or anything that you want out of the macros if you feel like you need to micromanage them or you don't like the combination that I have. These are what works for me. It may be different for you. So this is the builder macro and on the screen we have it where the planar attunement abilities are in there. I won't have them in the description below, I'll just have the main macros. But feel free to put the planar abilities in your builder like I did if you want to. Alright, and here's our finisher macro. 
And like I said, all the macros will be in the description below for you to copy and paste into your game. All right, here goes our burst macro, and this is going to cast Rift, which is going to give you all your combo points. Fire off Virtuoso, so it'll make it to where your combo points are not used up. And then we will be going into Code of Wrath spam, which is going to hit really hard with heat retention from Nightblade. All right, then we have a heal macro here, which is really good, help you with your tankiness. We have a run button, which is mainly just going to cast Shadow Shift, but if your Anthem of Competence is down, it will recast that. All right, and then we have our Planar Variation macro. If you chose to pick up Planar Variation, this is the macro that you need. If you decide to go with Energy Manipulation, you may want to put that in your Builder macro or Finisher or whatever you would like, maybe even in your Burst. On our bar down here, we have our Builder macro our finisher macro, burst macro, our heal macro, we have conceal which is going to put us into stealth for 30 seconds, we have our planar variation macro, we have our getaway macro which is going to cast shadow shift and of course uh, recast our anthem of competence if it's down, we have break free on a separate button, do not put in your macros people unless you are just bound and determined to fail at pvp because that's what will happen if you put in your macros. All right, then we have Verse of Captivation. Now this is your biggest CC and almost most important ability in this whole thing because this is a spammable CC. You can go up to somebody, say you're carrying a stone in Whitefall Steps and somebody comes up to you, cast the Verse of Captivation on them. If they break free of it, wait until their immunity is down, cast it on them again run away from them if somebody else runs up go ahead and verse captivation them walk away it is insanely good now you just cannot beat a 30 meter range spammable mesmerize it's so good all right and then we have verse of purity which is going to cast a cleanse on us which will remove any uh curse disease or poison so let's go right into how to play this build and it's very easy and very mobile so it's really good in PvP. Let me show you exactly how to do it. Alright so first off we're wanting to start off by hitting our builder macro and this is going to be a normal rotation of builder, finisher, builder, finisher. You know once you've got your five combo points you'll go into finisher and that'll be that. The thing that will really make this thing pop though is whenever you get your Nightblade buff up from heat retention and it's called internal heat. And once that's up you're going to be able to go into your burst macro and it'll spam your finisher which is Coda of Wrath and it's going to do a lot of damage because that internal heat is going to buff you up for 30% more of your finisher damage but yet also the heat retention is going to add 15 percent to that so otherwise it's 45 percent more damage to your finishers and your burst macro is pretty much 100 percent finisher all right so let's go into builder finisher right off the bat so we're going to spam that and as you can see it does a channel ability that you can use while running so we're going to continue to build our finisher and then once our internal heat is up, we will be able to see it. As you can see below my character's feet, I have K alert showing me the internal heat. And uh, we can see the timer going down on it. I like to keep track of it. That way I know when I can hit my burst macro. So let's go ahead and refresh it. And now we're going to use up our combo points and do our finisher because our burst macro is actually going to cast riff which gives you five combo points so you can do your burst with no combo points at all so as long as that internal heat is up we can go into our burst and it'll hit really hard all right burst time and we just spam it it's going to spam our coda of wrath and we can keep doing this for a lot of damage and I have K alert showing the icon below my character's feet of when Virtuoso is up and I like to keep up with the timer on it. But you know when Virtuoso is down because it'll finally use your combo points off of your character. 
because that's what Virtuoso does. It keeps your combo points up where they're not used in finishers. So whenever you use your finishers and spam your burst macro, it's not going to use your combo points while Virtuoso is up. So once the combo points are used up, you know Virtuoso is over and your burst is over. So then you go back into your normal rotation of builder, finisher, builder, finisher. All right, so it's that's really it. There is not much to this build. Some of the other things I need to go into is like the heal button, which it's going to cast your burst vitality and also use up your harmonic distortion, I believe it's called. And that's going to use up your five combo points up here that you build up as you're using your abilities and it'll use them up to heal you. So that's a very good macro as well. You have your conceal here that you can go in hiding if you're wanting to start out the fight, you know, picking your targets or whatever. Uh, of course, we have our planar variation. If you get hurt, make sure that you cast it on yourself and it'll heal you for a lot of healing. All right, then we have our run macro, which is going to allow us to get out of bad situations. It'll use our shadow shift and it'll make sure to cast our uh, anthem of competence if it's down for some reason, if somebody stripped it from us. All right, so also we have our verse of captivity. This is about the best CC in the game almost because it's a spammable mesmerize and it lasts for eight seconds. So imagine that you're in a white fall steps and you grab the stone or something and you take off running. Then you see somebody coming over from the right side or something. Just turn slightly while you're running, target them and cast your mesmerize and it'll lock them down. And if they break free of it, wait until their immunity is down and then you can cast it again and mesmerize them again for eight seconds. Take off running down the road a little bit. If somebody else runs up, mesmerize them. It's spammable. It is so good. I cannot believe how good that macro, uh, that ability is. All right, and then we also have our verse of purity, which is our cleanse. That's going to allow us to remove a curse, disease, or poison from uh, up to 10 party or raid members. So it's a very good ability as well. Now, this is a very good build because it also buffs up the rest of your team. Your uh, fanfares, your uh, motives, I mean, all the things that are going to really contribute towards your party or raid getting buffed up and they're going to be able to do so much better because of you so keep that in mind with this build it is so good trust me all right guys i hope you enjoyed this build and if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button as usual guys my name is grim and i will see you next time